Hey peeps, welcome to another video. Today it is my December sewing plans, or better known as Shan is incredibly ambitious and is not going to get all of this done. So I, I have grand plans for December. I have things that I want to get finished. I have things that I need to get finished. And I want to make some stuff for myself as well. So let's get started. First up, we have this pattern here, which was up for a vote on Patreon last month. And it is the Vogue 9044. Now this was on my hashtag 2019 make nine plans, as were quite a few of the things that I'm going to attempt to get done this month. The Patreon peeps have voted for view B which I'm really pleased about because I quite like that slouchy baker boy cap look and I am going to be making it in probably a brown twill the same that I made my Kelly anorak in purely and simply because I'm going to be doing a sew along for this pattern and I would like to make it out of black fabric but black fabric for sew alongs is just a massive no-no because nobody can see what is going on so I'm going to make one in brown and then if I have time one in black oh and if it works as well <laughs> one in black Black. So I am really excited about that. I had a Baker Boy cap like this. I have two crocheted ones now that my niece made for me, but I actually bought one from this Etsy seller and I absolutely loved that thing and it's disappeared. I don't know where it's gone. So I still have the one from my niece, the ones from my niece, which I do wear, but I'm quite looking forward to having a woven one of these as well as my stretchy ones. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Other things that were on my hashtag 2019 make nine list were pajamas comfortable and smart pajamas. I don't actually wear woven PJs to sleep in. I find them quite restrictive, but I do have occasions every now and again where it is appropriate to be wearing pajamas for the majority of the day. And I would like to have beautiful ones. So I made myself some Carolyn pajamas last year out of the chocolate biscuit silk cotton blend that I have from Spoonflower and my best friend saw them, loved them and has taken them. And that's totally fine because I needed to adjust the crotch depth on the pattern and I also needed to make the sleeves and the torso just ever so slightly longer. So I'm going to make those tweaks to the pattern and then I am going to sew it up in this fabric which you guys have seen many many times. So this is a cotton poplin stripe with strawberries all over it. I got it from Minerva.com. I actually have it in the lavender stripe with the red strawberries as well. I think this is going to look awesome with bright red faux piping. So I'm just going to use flat piping bias binding basically for the Carolyn pajamas and I think it's going to be absolutely awesome to wear on Christmas day. That is the plan. Now the Carolyn pajamas are a fairly involved make and as I mentioned I need to make some alterations to the pattern so that may not happen. And if that's the case, I have this fabric, which is a French terry that the very lovely Alex from Gingerhead & Co. And if you don't follow her channel, I shall link her in the description down below because I love her YouTube channel. She is awesome. But she's just put up a, a video that I haven't watched yet, but on her love of French terry. And there, this is one of the French terries that she had sent for from Poland for me. She bought some for her mother-in-law who made a jumper out of it. And I fell in love with it. Absolutely fell in love with it. And mentioned that to her and Alex incredibly kindly sent me three meters of this for my birthday. I would like to make the McCall's 7634 set out of this. I am 100% making the trousers and I think I'm going to use royal purple bias binding for the stripes down the side because I think that would look awesome but I'm not 100% sure about the top that I want to make. I love the top that comes with that set with the hood and it is a possibly I have some bright purple cording that would work for the tar uh, for the neck the neck thing and again purple bias binding down the sleeves would look very cool but I also absolutely love the Seamwork Astoria. I don't know which one I would wear more because of the hood. I am thinking about tweaking the McCall's pattern so that taking away the bands at the front and just putting on a standard neckline or a roll neck, which I absolutely love. And I do that a lot with the Astoria as well because I really like the shape of the bodice of that top as is and it is a slightly baggier than the Astoria. The Astoria is very very form fitting so I possibly might do that with this one and just make you know take take the take the, the neck band thingy away and take the hood to take the hood out as well because I think the hood is what's going to make this slightly less wearable. I get away with it with the turquoise one because the both sides of the fabric are the same but with the French terry obviously the back of this is white and I'm not sure I want a, the bright white hood kind of like 
on display constantly so I think I might adjust the top of the McCall's pattern to kind of suit my needs but yes this will be the other comfy set or the actually comfy set that I of PJ smart casual wear that I want to make this month and that is a fairly quick make as well so it shouldn't take me more than a day to get both of those garments sewn up so I'm hoping I have time and can do that. The final thing that I want to make for me is a dress to wear on Christmas day when I eventually do get dressed because I will get dressed at some point on Christmas day and I got this fabric it is a stretch velvet I got it from the Gold Hawk Road on the last trip that I went on it was five pounds a meter in the second shop I found it in so I have four meters of this and it's going to be the Victory patterns Jackie dress because I love that dress I think it's absolutely gorgeous it's so so sophisticated looking and it's stretchy so it's comfortable you can eat a giant Christmas dinner in this thing and you yeah I, I yeah that that's going to be my Christmas uh, Christmas day outfit so that's a giant pile of four or five things that I want to get made for myself this month which I'm going to, fingers crossed, hope that happens. But before that happens, I have two penny ins, three NCWs to make. In fact, three NC, so two penny ins, three NCWs, and a giant NCW to make. And I also have ugh, this fabric. Small girl type creature is literally having conniptions as she, as she is seeing this come on screen. And this fabric to make into a coat for small girl type creature. So this is 100% wool tartan that I got from Stone Fabrics probably three Christmases ago now. In fact, Big Bird, it was £100. Big Bird bought this for Rianne's Christmas present three years ago with the purpose that I was going to turn it into a coat. And it is going to be like my red coat that I made, a mashup of this Lakala pattern and this McCall's pattern. So the bodice from this, or the top half from this Lakala pattern and then the, the skirt from this this McCall's pattern so that's what this is going to be and Minerva.com very very kindly sent me this beautiful lining which goes perfectly with this wool I've printed and traced the pattern I've made the muslin it fits her so I just need to make the coat and the coat actually believe it or not is a fairly quick make it's not got as much tailoring in it as a lot of coats do because of the type of coat that it is i'm still going to make a back stay i'm going to make a chest stay i there's there will be sleeve heads and, and shoulder pads going in there will be interlining done in certain points there's twill tape that goes around the waist but it is a fairly quick make as coats go it's not going to be a quick as make as the mccall's jumpsuit set <laughs> but it is a fairly quick make as coats go and this fabric is just absolutely stunning absolutely stunning and the large ncw that i mentioned that i need to make is going to be out of this as well because that was her birthday present after this was her christmas present and yeah i'm three years behind so this year she's just getting me i'm just buying her something for christmas so that i can catch up it's going to be absolutely beautiful really really beautiful I, like i say i did buy the last of this and it was from stone fabrics three years ago so i'll list their shop down below because they are amazing but they won't have any more of this. And the very final thing that I need to get done in December is Wilson's coat. So I have stolen one of his favorite coats that he used to wear all the time. It's a Calvin Klein wool coat, but it had polyurethane sleeves and they, they, they held up for a number of years and they have just started peeling. The polyurethane is literally disintegrating. So I unpicked, I've unpicked one sleeve from the coat and then I've completely picked it apart so that I can make a pattern from it. And I've bought some real leather and I'm going to use that real leather to replace the sleeves and that's going to be his Christmas present. He doesn't watch these videos, so I know that he doesn't know that what's going on from that standpoint, but I have no idea if he's noticed if his coat's gone missing or not. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I want to get small girl type creatures coat, Wilson's coat and all the purses sewn up before I start working on any of the stuff for myself. Having said that, I might cave because I know what I'm like and too much selfless sewing all in one go can make me go a little stir crazy. So I may make up the stretching items in a day because both of those, whilst they are slightly more involved makes because they have, you know, they're not just a front, back and two sleeves and a neckband, they, they do have more pieces to them. They are things that I can get done in a day. So there may be a day where I kind of cave and make myself something. Other than that, that is my plans for December. Wish me luck. I, yeah, I'm gonna need it. I'm going to need it. <laughs>
So let me know in the comments down below if what you guys are making for December. Are you making presents for people? Are you sewing for yourselves? I would love to hear the things that you're going to be attempting this month. I think somebody in the comments the other day said, I fully intend to make Christmas presents for everybody I love. And in July, that seems like a wonderful idea. And then it comes to December and it seems that like I only love two people. So uh, yeah, I only, I only love two people. <laughs> I mean, obviously that's not true, but you, you know, you, you get the joke. Let me know in the comment section down below if you are making Christmas presents this year and how you're getting on because it would make me feel better as well. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.